Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper tutorial, we want to make this eye beam uh, on a curve. As you can see here, I can change the location of the points and make this parametric eye beam. Uh, I can make it like a curve or a polyline. And also I can control the thickness of the web and also I can uh, control the height as you can see here and also uh, the width and also the thickness of the flange. Uh, this tutorial is going to help you to understand uh, how we can uh, make this parametric uh, I-beam first and then use the sweep command to finally put it on a polyline or a curve. Uh, so to get started from scratch, uh, first of all, uh, what I want to do here is to, uh, let me explain it here. Uh, first we have to uh, draw, a, go to here, draw a rectangle. This is going to be the web uh, of the I-beam. And then I'm going to pick up the mid edge of the top and the bottom and then we're going to also draw two rectangles here which is really important to know the domain because this one is going to be the center is going to be like uh, minus x divided by 2 plus x divided by 2 which I'm going to explain and for the top we have to uh, start it from this domain which I'm going to explain completely so we can make this in grasshopper uh, parametrically. Uh, okay, let's get us, uh, started from scratch. What I want to do here is to go to the curve and in the primitive, I can find the rectangle. Uh, we're going to use this one. Uh, let me just put it to full names. Okay, uh, the default uh, plane is an XY plane. I can extract it and turn it off so we don't see the plane. Uh, the X size and the Y size is completely a domain input which is really important. What we want to do is that when we want to make a web, for example, a web thickness, is if this is the center of the plane, we have to make it like, assume that this is the thickness, right? Uh, we have to make it minus t divided by 2 to t divided by 2. And that's going to give us a complete T. So that's why I'm going to just change the X and the Y size input. So now what I have to do is to make a domain uh, parametrically by going to the math and use this construct domain. So the construct domain is going to go to the X size. And now with the start and the end, we can just right click expression and say minus X divided by 2. And the end is going to be X divided by 2. And that's it. Uh, I'm going to also copy this for the Y and now we can give this a number slider. For example, if I want to define the thickness of the web, uh, I'm going to start from one, two, three with two decimals. This is going to be the web thickness. And I'm going to connect it to here and zoom in. So as you can see here, this is going to affect the thickness. This is the centroid uh, of the rectangle. Again, I'm going to give another number slider. This is going to be uh, the height or depth. I'm going to increase that maybe to 20 or 30, whatever it is. And now you can see that I can also control that really easy to make the web parametric. Okay, let's just uh, go to the view top so we can talk about the next step. Uh, 